Hey everyone, I'm T Frank and today I wanted to do a really quick video just talking about some of Rode's newest accessories for the Wireless Go, which I've actually had the Wireless Go probably for a little bit over a year now and it's one of my favorite devices that I use. But quick disclaimer, Rode actually didn't send these out to me so I went ahead and I picked this up myself from BNH Photo. Um, they were actually $15 per accessory, so that's pretty affordable for what you get. And it actually solves a problem that I was recently having, so I definitely wanted to do this video just in case you guys are having a similar issue. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll put links in the description for you guys to check out um, these products and see if you guys want to purchase them. And let me go ahead and explain what these accessories will allow you to do. The DCS-1 is this cute little cold shoe mount that will allow you to use two wireless goes or two mics directly into a single cold shoe mount that's on the top of your camera. And it'll also help you keep this setup pretty minimal. It offers a cable management system as well so that you can keep the cables out of the way. Now I haven't really had much luck with using this properly, but I'm gonna go ahead and account that to user error and hopefully I'll figure that out shortly. Um, I don't own two wireless goes, so I'm actually going to show you later in this video how I would actually use this, which for me would be with one wireless go and then the Rode Video Micro shotgun mic. The SC11 is a TRS splitter cable that allows you to connect two mics to your camera. The black cord records to the left channel and the red cord records to the right channel. So this is going to allow you to edit both channels individually instead of having the audio from both people on one channel. So say for instance, you're doing a interview and you need to raise the audio levels or make some type of adjustment to one person's audio and maybe the other one, you know, their audio was pretty clean. You know, this is going to allow you to do that. In the beginning, I mentioned that I had an issue and this was the solution to it. So I want to kind of briefly just go ahead and explain what my issue was. So recently I've been shooting videos of my family and also narrating from behind the camera. I was using the Rode Video Micro, which is a shotgun microphone. So the audio in front of the camera could be heard great, but my audio, of course, from behind the camera wasn't so great. So there's a new mic by Deity. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. I think it's a Deity D4 Duo. And it's caught my attention because I, I thought this was really going to be the solution to my problem. But I really just wasn't sure if I wanted to invest in another mic being that I own quite a few of them already. So my other options were to switch my video micro like from the front and the back. Um, I guess from the front to the back depending on who's talking. But I, I just felt like this would cause me to miss moments and it really just wasn't a good option. So the wireless go actually I thought about that being an option as well but I only own one so that really wasn't an option. And my last option was to use one of these mics along with my Zoom H1 and then sync in post. But I'm really trying to do family videos, which I really just wanted them to be simple and didn't want too many extra steps. So Ro released this at the perfect time. And I really think this is going to be a solution to how I create my home videos and get decent sounding audio. Just, yep, I can hear you perfect. Testing one, two, three. One, two, three. And your name, please? My name is Abel Franklin. When are we going to see that video on that Canon 80D? I don't know. We're going to have to uh, wait for it. All right. When I get time, I guess. <laughs> not run all the babies around the earth. Around the earth? In his 60s. Can you please show us an example of your speed, sir? We're starting now. Ready? Ready? Let's get set. Watch. Run. Do supernatural speed. Left on. Oh, take off. Get him, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he's not going to be able to move tomorrow. He had a hip injury not too long ago. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, so there's no way to get around this. The audio that we heard at the park was pretty terrible and you should hear that loud sound, especially if you have on headphones, you should be able to hear that. Um, I did a little bit of research on that sound just to find out, you know, I thought maybe it was something that I was doing. However, I did find online that other people have had issues with the wireless go and some of Rode's shotgun mics, they don't really play nicely together. If the transmitter or the receiver is in close proximity to the shotgun mic, it can produce the same exact noise that you heard from my video. 
which is extremely disappointing because Rode does advertise that you can use these mics together. Um, it is listed on the compatibility list. So this is definitely something that I'm going to reach out to Rode um, and see if there's a solution to, you know, this issue that I'm having. Um, I also want to note that the audio that I got from my dad and my husband was from the shotgun mic. My audio was from the wireless go, which was behind the mic. Um, I was able to bring it into Final Cut Pro and adjust, you know, the, the levels individually, which was perfect. I was peaking, so I went ahead and I brought my levels down. Um, my dad and my husband, their levels were a little bit low, so I went ahead and I brought those levels up. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm really disappointed, but um, I'm glad I got to test this out. But anyways, that about sums the video up for me. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'm T Frank, and I will catch you guys in my next video.